Welcome everybody to a brand new Blu-ray DVD out and about video for you guys today. And a few interesting things came out today. You have the new Edgar Wright movie Baby Driver hitting on Blu-ray and DVD. You have the Civil War drama The Beguiled. You also have the comedy The House with Will Ferrell. You also have the horror movie Wish Upon, Shout Select is releasing Dudes, and Screen Factory is releasing the Poughkeepsie tapes, plus much, much more. So let's go see the deals, exclusives, and are we're at our first location, Best Buy. So let's go in and see what they got. All right, we are in Best Buy, and we're at this small display for Baby Driver. And they have the Blu-ray and digital for $19.99 and man I really like this cover a lot this is a nice cover and you know what um, Ron and I did a review when it came out if you guys want to check it out go under the movie reviews playlist and look for Baby Driver and we really enjoyed the movie we thought it was a great great film and honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of Edgar Wright. I like, I, well, I should say I love Shaun of the Dead. And the other ones have just been okay to me. They haven't been great. I know other people really love them and nothing against that. I just, honestly, this was the best, I think, since um, Shaun of the Dead for him. I really love this one a lot. And you also have the... 4K Ultra HD plus Blu-ray and digital for $27.99. And you know what? I would definitely, if you guys haven't checked it out, definitely check this movie out. It's absolutely worth it. It's hell of a lot of fun. It really is. And a lot of special features here. Definitely a lot of stuff to actually sink your teeth into. Huh. Definitely worth it, I think. And that's what I'm seeing over here, guys. Let's check what else I got. Okay, over here in the new release section, guys. And the first thing I'm seeing over here is The House with Will Ferrell and Amy Poehler on Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for $22.99. And I didn't see this in the movie theater. I really didn't want to see it in the movie theater. Gotta admit to you, I'm not the biggest fan of Will Ferrell. I'm just not. I just don't think he's really all that funny. Uh, small roles like Old School or if he's in um, Wedding Crashers, small stuff like that I'm fine with. But the big roles, I'm not a huge fan of his. Amy Poehler's okay. She's not terrible. Hmm. You know, I don't know. I heard it didn't do that great at the box office either, so people weren't really clamoring to see this movie. And... For $22.99 and the DVD here is for $17.99 and they also have the Blu-ray and DVD director's unrated cut also includes theatrical version of Wish Upon and you know what um, Bob and I did a review for Wish Upon on the movie channel and uh, if you guys want to check it out definitely go under movie reviews and we actually liked it you know pg-13 we were unsure about it we didn't know how it was gonna be if it was gonna be any good this is the director of the first annabelle movie which isn't really all that great but honestly it was pretty good we actually really did enjoy it and I don't know what is in the unrated cut. I don't know how different it is versus the theatrical. Um, but no, for a small little PG-13 horror movie, it actually wasn't too bad. I would absolutely recommend giving it a chance at least. It's not too bad. Considering not a lot of great horror films out there right now, Wish Upon was pretty good. And that's for $19.99. And also they have The Beguiled blu-ray dvd and digital here and my friend nick and i did a review for the beguiled as well and you can check that out on the movie review playlist as well and you know we were kind of 
and half and half on the movie. We, we really liked the performances by all of the actors and actresses. Um, the setting wasn't banned. We just really felt this, that some of the motivations of the characters weren't all that great. And honestly, it just didn't come to a satisfying conclusion. At least we felt it didn't. I don't know. I think there's better stories to be told than this movie, but I think the actors pull it off. I mean, it's worth, I think, a watch just to kind of check out the acting, which is really good. I mean, there's a ton of great people in there. Colin Farrell, Nicole Kidman, Kirsten Dunst, Al Fanning. I mean, a ton of them. So, it is worth checking out just for the acting alone. So, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not great either. And $22.99 for that as well. And over on the other side here I am seeing they also have the Baby Driver 4K Ultra HD Steelbook only at Best Buy here and actually that's a pretty cool steelbook it's actually not a bad steelbook at all huh and $29.99 if you guys like steelbooks that's actually a pretty cool so it actually kind of represents the movie pretty well with the headphones and then Turning into the road and yeah I, it's, it's a great movie absolutely check it out steelbook is $29.99 and also I'm seeing down here The Last Kingdom Season 1 for $24.99 on Blu-ray and from the producers of Downtown Abbey the year is, the year is 872 Whew. Oh, man, uh, I'm glad I live in the year 2017. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, I don't know much about this show. It looks kind of interesting. I, You know, the rise of an empire, I guess, or it says England is born, so I assume it kind of is the coming up of England, I guess. I, I don't know. These type of shows don't really intrigue me all that much, but I do like the cover. It's not bad. Hmm. And then what I'm also seeing over here is I'm seeing Ip Man Season 1. I did not even know they had a TV show for Ip Man. Did you guys? Because I had no idea. The Ip Man movies are pretty cool. I don't know how a TV show would be. If you guys have seen the TV show, let me know. It's only $26.99 for the Blu-ray and $19.99 for the DVD. And that's all I'm seeing over here in this section, guys. So, let's see if they got anything else. Alright, guys, over in this section, and the first thing I'm seeing is this Blu-ray DVD combo pack of The Survivalist. Riveting Mad Max in the Countryside by IndieWire. Hmm. I've never heard of this movie. I don't know if it's very good or not. Future Rampage by Population Survivor. Let's see. I don't know about this movie. I have no idea. If you guys know anything about the survivalist, let me know. Hmm. Huh. And that is for $15.99. And also I'm noticing here the DVD of this movie, Realize. Immortality is only a matter of time. Hmm. Mark experienced a terrible shock when at just 32 he was diagnosed with the disease of the only year to live. Huh. This is another one I have not heard of. I like the cover, kind of looks futuristic, kind of cool. I don't know. $9.99 for the DVD. I don't think there's a Blu-ray of it, though. And they actually over here have finally the DVD of Baby Driver, which is $17.99. It's only in this location. There's two other locations, and they don't have it. But $17.99 for the DVD. And also I'm seeing over here a movie called Temple on DVD. From the writer of Your Next and Blair Witch and the executive producer of the Ring Trilogy. Well, that's pretty cool stuff, but doesn't mean the movie's going to be good. Temple. 
Some places should remain hidden. Three amateur following mysterious map deep in the jungles of Japan. Don't if if you're an if you're an American and you're a tourist in a in a unknown place. Don't 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 go searching in in unknown places, please. You're just gonna you're just gonna get in trouble and most likely get killed. Man, follow follow the movies. Don't be an idiot, please. <laughs> That's that's Temple for $9.99. And also I'm seeing this other movie on DVD, Grow House, for $14.99. It's got Snoop Dogg, Faze on Love, and other people I don't know. From DJ Pooh, co-writer of Friday. You know, probably not the greatest name for a DJ. Just saying, guys. Maybe maybe he's a great DJ. Who knows? But I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I could be at a club and sort of hear like, "Coming up next, DJ Poo." Like, I'd be like, I, I, honestly, guys, I'd start to laugh. I really would. I don't know. It's about to get lit. I think. I don't know. It's supposed to be like a new Friday, maybe, or like something like that. I don't know. It's you know, Snoop Dogg's on it smoking weed, but then again, what's new? I don't. I don't know. It's interesting. If you guys have heard of it, let me know. And I think that is all I'm seeing in this section, guys. So I guess that'll do it. All right, guys. Let's get out of here. All right. Not a bad selection here at Best Buy. Actually, pretty good. So let's go to the other locations and see what they got. All right, everybody. At our second location, Target. So let's go in and see what they got. All right, everybody, in Target here. And the first thing I'm seeing is the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital of Baby Driver here for $29.99. And you want to know what? I really love the acting in this. Uh, Kevin Spacey, Jamie Foxx, um, Ansel Elgort. I believe John Hamm, everybody was absolutely fantastic in this movie. And yeah, the acting was absolutely fantastic. I really loved the hell out of this. I thought it was amazing. And definitely for the acting alone, I think the characters just pop off the screen. They're absolutely amazing. $29.99 for the 4K. Also, the Blu ray is $22.99 as well. And the DVD is $19.99 all the same artwork so nothing really different and you also have the blu-ray DVD and digital of the house for $22.99 and it's got okay special features nothing really amazing or fantastic um, yeah I don't know if I'll ever watch the movie. It's just nothing that's ever really on my radar. I don't know. The DVD itself is $15.99. And then down here they have the Blu-ray of Wish Upon for $17.99. And I don't think this comes with a slip cover. I think it's just without a slip cover here. And I thought the acting was pretty decent in this as well. And I was surprised to see Ryan Phillippe. I hadn't seen him in something in a long time. You know, it's not it's not bad for a little PG-13 horror film. Most PG-13 horror films really aren't that great. If you guys can think of some really good ones, let me know. But I think Witch Upon is really up there. I think it's really good. And you also have the DVD for $15.99 as well. I think you only get the unrated director's cut on the Blu-ray. I don't think it comes with the DVD. So if you're looking to get the unrated cut, then you have to just go with the Blu-ray. And they also have the DVD of Open Water 2, I'm sorry, Open Water 3, Cage Dive. Where the heck have I been? I don't even know there was an Open Water 2. All right. Uh, the DVD is $14.99. They did have the Blu-ray, but it's gone now, and that's $19.99. And first, you find the sharks, then they find you. 
open. I, I saw the first open water and I thought it was pretty decent, but I never thought to ever think there'd be a sequel or now sequels. Your fears will consume you. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, commentary, behind the scenes, deleted scenes, outtakes. Huh. I don't know. If you guys have seen the second one or know anything about the third one here, let me know. I don't mind shark movies. Uh, but did I ever think the open water movie would become a franchise? Not at all. That's very bizarre to me. I don't know. It's weird. Hmm. And then I'm also seeing here the Beguiled here on Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for $22.99. And, you know, this movie's directed by Sofia Coppola. And, you know, I didn't mind Lost in Translation. It was okay. But her other stuff I just didn't really enjoy. I don't know, it's not that great. And honestly, it just isn't her, you know, I think she's gotten a lot of special privileges because of, you know, the name Coppola, her family, you know, Francis Ford Coppola, her father is an amazing director. I think she's an okay director. I don't think she's anything amazing. I've liked a couple of her features, but I think this one, it really isn't one of her better ones. Um, it did get a fresh Rotten Tomatoes rating for whatever that's worth. Again, I, I don't really believe in that fresh rating but you know that's just my opinion but that is for $22.99 here and that looks to do it for this section guys so let's head out shall we okay not terrible better than last week I think but not great either so so all right so let's head to our third and final location all right, at our third and final location, Walmart. So let's see what stuff they got today, shall we? Um, can you tell me where the Blu-rays and DVDs are? Jeez, no help. So much for Walmart employees. All right, at the Walmart display over here, and the first thing I'm seeing is the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital of Baby Driver for $27.96. And, you know, I heard a rumor that they're thinking about doing a sequel to Baby Driver because of the film being so successful and everything. And, you know, I'm not against it, but at the same time, why does there have to be a sequel to this? I mean, really. Can it just be a one film and that's it? Why does there have to be a sequel? Just let it be. It was a great movie. That's it. I don't know, guys. And the Blu-ray digital is $19.96. And the, the DVD itself is $17.96. And no exclusives here for Baby Driver. And the next thing I'm seeing down here is the blu-ray dvd and digital of the house for 22.96 and i don't see a 4k for this movie but i don't think this movie really needs a 4k for this and the dvd is 15.96 and then there's the dvd of season one of it man for 19.96 and you know, again, the Ip Man movies are great. I'm just not sure about a season of this. Hopefully, if you guys know, let me let me know what you guys think. And then the next thing I'm seeing down here is a DVD of Pilgrimage. And there's actually a lot of people. Tom Holland, Richard Armitage, John Bernthal... That's a, that's a great cast. The road to salvation is paved in blood. That's a, that's a great cast, man. Um, leaving the Irish monastery for the first time, a young novice departs with a... Huh. Well, I don't know. I, it, I like the cast. The cast has me intrigued. 
it's kind of like, you know, searching for themselves and, you know, sort of Catholicism or something like that. I don't know. If you guys know something about it, let me know. The DVD is six, oh, sorry, twelve ninety six, and the Blu-ray over here is sixteen ninety six, and it's got behind the scenes featurettes, interviews, photo gallery. Okay, not great special features, but I don't know. I never heard of it. I'd be intrigued. And also, I'm seeing the Blu-ray D digital HD of Armed Response with Wesley Snipes. No retreat, no mercy. And it looks like his head was sort of pasted on some other dude's body or something. It totally doesn't match. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of in interesting. I, I have no idea at all. And, uh, what is this? A team of highly trained operatives is trapped inside an isolated military compound. Huh. Okay. Inside the minds of armed response. Mm. I know Wesley Snipes is doing a lot of these straight to Blu-ray and DVD stuff. I don't know. Um, oh no, I'm sorry, that's not for thirty-nine ninety-six. I think that's for. Oh, it's oh, it's 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 for nineteen ninety-six. I don't. Know, it was in the wrong spot. Whoops. Actually, yeah, fourteen ninety-six. Sorry, wrong spot. I don't know why somebody put that there. And yeah, I don't know. It's weird. The Blu-ray and the DVD is both for fourteen ninety-six. I don't know. I just get the Blu-ray if I was somebody who wanted to watch it. I don't know. And then they have the Beguiled Blu-ray for nineteen ninety-six. And yeah, you know. I think Colin Farrell's doing a lot of work lately. I mean, whether The Lobster and this movie, and I think um, I think another independent movie called The Killing of a Sacred Deer, I believe it's called. I mean, he's been doing a lot of work as of late. I like him doing a lot of these independent-style movies, not these big blockbuster stuff. I like him doing the smaller stuff. I think he's much better in those than the bigger stuff, but I don't know, that's just me. And then the DVD is seventeen ninety-six. And then I'm seeing this movie, Michael Jackson, Searching for Neverland, the hidden drama behind the pop legend's final years. Hmm, okay. God, I hope that's not an actual picture of him because Jesus. Oh, it's a Lifetime original movie. Oh, okay. Oh, man, I don't know. They they look like they really did not do a good job of him looking like Michael Jackson. I mean, even that, that doesn't... That kind of looks like Michael, but on the backside, that does not look like Michael at all, man. I don't know. I haven't heard of this. I don't really watch Lifetime, so I don't know anything about this movie. You know, you know, isn't it time to sort of just leave him alone? You know, he passed away, and, you know, just... Don't get into the drama of it. Just, just leave the man and his 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 legacy alone. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's nine ninety six for the DVD, and then fourteen ninety six for Maudie. Based on a true story, Sally Hawkins and Ethan Hawke. Oh, hmm. Ma, Sally Hawkins, a bright-eyed, intelligent woman, punched, punched. Huh. I have not heard of this movie. I do like Ethan Hawke, though, and I know, I believe Sally Hawkins will be in, later in the year, will be in The Shape of Water. And she's a good actress as well, so it, I don't know. I would be interested to know if you guys have checked this out, or if you know anything about it, let me know. And they also have Fallen for twelve ninety six, the DVD, based on the best-selling novel, Love Never Dies. Fallen is the epic that Twilight fans have waited for. Oh, Jesus, is this a, is this a Twilight ripoff? God. Just, you know, Twilight sucked. Let's be honest. The whole series sucked. Why? Why? Why do we have to go into this? Why? I mean, just 
any any adaptation that's like Twilight or Twilight itself, just let it let it die, man. Just let it die. I don't know. It just looks the teen stuff here. It just uh, it looks man makes makes me want to puke. Fallen. Hi, yay, yay. I don't know. Twelve not ninety six. Maybe if it goes down to the five dollar bin. Then they have the DVD of Open Water 3, Cage Dive, for $14.96. And... Jeez, I feel sorry for, the, for that lady. Look, she's got one, two, three, maybe, maybe four sharks. Yeah, she's pretty much chum. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, basically, these movies are basically a way to have, you know, stupid characters get killed in gruesome ways by sharks you know and if you like that stuff it's 14.96 not bad then i'm also seeing this movie the dvd of demonic for 12.96 from the producer from the from producer james wan director of the conjuring demonic every house has its secrets oh i see the cover is like evil trees becoming a face. I think we've seen that a time or two. Frank Grillo's in this. Damn. Maria Bello? Hmm. I like the cast. The cast is nice. I don't know. The final twist is sick fun. Don't tell me they're all dead. Because trust me, if that's the twist, then it's it's not sick fun. It's just lame. I don't know. If you guys have heard about it or not, or maybe or maybe the twists are in hell already. That could be too. I don't know. If you guys have heard about it, let me know. Kind of looks decent. 1296. And then they have the DVD of Wish Upon for 1496 and the Blu-ray for 1996. And you know what honestly for the halloween season here for october it's a good one to check out guys i know that a lot of people are kind of wondering what are the good ones to check out what are ones i should give a chance to honestly give a chance to wish upon it's really not bad and again pg-13 i was expecting not much and i was pleasantly surprised i really was 1996 that's not bad and that seems to be it over at walmart here all right, let's head out, guys. Okay, not a bad selection at Walmart. Actually, pretty good. All right, so let's get out of here and finish the video, guys. All right, guys, that'll do it for the Blu-ray DVD out and about video today. And some interesting stuff in the stores today. As far as exclusives, only that Steelbook at Best Buy. But sometimes that's how it's gonna be but i thought each store had some interesting stuff to show regardless and i did end up coming home and finding that i had a couple of packages waiting for me i have a package from amazon with two blu-rays one from kino lorber and another one of the new releases on blu-ray that we showed today in the video also, I got a package in the mail from Severin Films as well, one of their new releases also. And you guys will not find out exactly what I picked up until the October Blu-ray pickup video at the beginning of November. So definitely check it out when that drops. And if you're new to the channel here, welcome. I hope you like the video and I hope you have enjoyed the content that I've been doing lately. If you have, hit subscribe and you will get more just like it. Also, make sure you are hitting that little bell for the notifications so you will be notified every single time that I upload a video. Also, I am on Twitter and Facebook, FilmFan108, so check me out there. Alright guys, I will see you next time for another Blu-ray DVD out and about video. Take care guys.